welcome guys to another video so today today what we're gonna be doing is finally gonna show you guys the wheels and more in depth um, I think you guys have already seen a little bit here and there throughout the recent couple videos but if not here we go we're gonna show you guys the new wheels that uh, took really really long to do so here they are so these are custom paint uh, bronze paint um, that I've done as you guys saw in the previous videos primer paint and then clear with 2k um, they are wrapped in Dunloop or Dunlop whatever you want to say um, SP Sport FM 800 so I got these at a pretty cheap price from work uh, with the cost price slash trade price from from um, when I got it so these were like seventy dollars eighty dollars uh, with GST and all that so yeah pretty good tires way better than what whatever was on the previous uh, wheel and tire setup and uh, yeah they go pretty pretty decent um, the wheel specs they're like OEM they're 15 by six and a half um, they're 195 55 15s uh, the spec is actually right there as you guys can see and uh, yeah the tires actually go really good so this is what it looks like that's the front and that is the back and uh, I've also ordered some parts from Japan to finish this uh, rear, you know, quarter panel off. So basically, I've got another one of these uh, flares, and I'm just probably gonna just chop it here or make some angle cut to try and uh, mock it up here. So yeah, that's all the wheels all done. But uh, yeah, they actually really make the car look a lot more aggressive and make it look cool. So. Yeah, I know these wheels took a long time to fit on and all that, but I love the outcome and actually really good condition. Um, also done ceramic coat on all these wheels. So I don't know if I've showed you guys that, but yeah, wheels are already ceramic coated. So washing them is a breeze. New wheels and exhaust setup. Um, the exhaust, uh, the downpipe section is actually getting fabricated as we speak. So whenever that is finished and then I can bring the car over to the fab guy to mock it up and fully get it done and uh, put on. I'll obviously make a video about that. Um, also I need to make a video on the new tune uh, with the pop and bangs uh, with the car. So I think I have talked about it in the video, but if not, I will speak on it. So uh, up the limiter. Uh, rev limiter to 2400 now um, tune the myvec tables to uh, you know come on a bit earlier remove the torque limiter on the trans so it actually pulls a lot better now so yeah only done a little uh, tuning here and there um, on D cell between one and a half K to 4k rpms um, the timing actually uh, retards back six degrees so it gives it a little bit of a bangs spontaneous big ones and you know a bit of a uh, small ones so yeah just finished work got a new parcel also got a new hot wheel there we go but uh let me just put the address but uh yeah got a new car part jeez so yeah i'm gonna open it and see what i got so what we have here is a custom two and a half inch downpipe so yeah, so that's the turbo and then this is the whole downpipe system. So two and a half inch with a V-band on the, where the cat is. And then from there we have the other end of the V-band and then that goes over to the subframe. So yeah, this, I did grab this from Australia. Um, it did cost me about 380 NZ dollars to ship it. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good buy considering the Autobahn one is, I think 270 shipped from eBay, but um, it's like two inch or two and a half and it drops down to the stock uh, 1.75 inch So yeah, I'm gonna have a full two and a half inch exhaust uh, That is gonna be in the works in a video that will come out eventually um, Yeah, I'm just getting parts and stuff ready for it and then get it welded and then fit it up on the car. So Get a little start to it. So yeah Got the next set of exhaust stuff for the car. So as you guys saw uh, got the downpipe, so yeah, this is gonna be the rest of the exhaust. So let's just unpack this box. Sweet, let's start unboxing. So, and here 
here we have some two and a half inch flange. They're really beefy. Um, got the gaskets in here as well. So I'll open all this up and then I will show you guys later. Just like that, got the gasket and the flanges. Um, oh my goodness, got a two and a half inch mild aluminiumized steel 180. Uh, got a six inch flex pipe. And uh, two mandrel bends of 45s, which hopefully will go over the subframe, front subframe like so. Or the bolts, some hardware for the flanges. So we've got a couple of those. And then last of all, what we will do, I think this is if I am correct, yep. Two and a half inch eighteen inch resonator oh oh <laughs> so yeah Sheesh. i'm just gonna clean up and lay it out for you guys and here we go all the parts for the rest of the exhaust so hopefully this is enough because i still gotta go over the subframe so Hopefully, hopefully we have enough. So we have an 18 inch length um, resonator, two and a half inch in and out. Uh, we have a U, mandrel U uh, tube, uh, flex joint, which I've said before. There we go. Mandrel bends, flanges, bolts, and the gaskets and flanges. So yeah, 